eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Engines full power. And lift off Falcon 9. Go Axiom. It's one alpha. <laughs> Copy one alpha. Together we expand what is possible in low Earth orbit. Add Astra and Godspeed AX2. Plus 36 seconds, 36 seconds into flight. A great view of Falcon 9 heading to space. Power and telemetry is nominal. A Day great one call. Down. Falcon 9 is supersonic. Faster than the speed of sound as we're getting great views from the first stage camera looking back at Kennedy Space Center Complex 39A. Stage one throttle up. Max Q. We're out of the throttle bucket. Stage one Bravo. Copy, 1 Bravo. We're at full power, and that call out 1 Bravo, that's another one of those abort modes. As we get higher and faster, the logic for Dragon, should a contingency occur, changes from stage to stage. Impact chill is underway. Chill announcement says we're getting the turbo pump on the second stage engine cooled down in preparation for its light up coming up in just another minute from now. Again, great views looking back, and you can see the contrail as we left 39A and the, uh, the shadow of the contrail against the cloud deck around Florida. And we're coming up, three big sequences and a view. They're getting ready. We're going to get three events here, main engine cutoff, stage okay, separation, down. and then we're going to light the second stage engine. We've heard the throttle down in preparation for stage separation. Eco. Two Alpha. Stage separation confirmed. Copy two alpha. And back initial. Stage one, boost back startup. All right, stage separation. We've lit the second stage engine. The first stage is into the boost back burn, working its way back towards Cape Canaveral. Waiting for call out that the boost back burn is complete. Stage one, boost back shutdown. Right on time, first stage completed the first of three burns heading back to the landing site. Second stage continuing on power and on trajectory. Acquisition signal, Bermuda. We head northeast, the Bermuda ground station. Direct SpaceX trajectory nominal. Bermuda is listening in to the vehicle now. Nominal trajectory. And the crew hears the call out of a nominal trajectory. So four minutes into flight, everything continuing to go well, first stage heading back, and there's the crew on the second stage getting the ride into orbit to the space station. Coming up, we're waiting for the next trajectory call out from the guidance officer. Dragon, SpaceX, trajectory nominal. Ah, uh, love to hear those words, a nominal trajectory for Dragon. Copy, nominal trajectory. And maybe even a little bit of excitement in the crew's voice. Commander Peggy Whitson calling back down, hearing that call out from GNC of a nominal trajectory. Left side of the screen, you can see the first stage. It's now beginning to orient itself so that the engines are pointed down towards the land as we will be descending towards landing zone one in Cape Canaveral. The four titanium grid fins have all deployed. They'll help guide the- They'll guide the first stage through the, once we get into the atmosphere, following the entry burn, which will be coming up here in another couple of minutes. On the right-hand side, the second stage with the Dragon capsule on top, heading up the eastern seaboard of the U.S., we've just heard the call out of Boston, that's the New Hampshire tracking station, has picked up the signal. Dragon, SpaceX, trajectory nominal. GNC continuing to make those call-outs that we want to hear. Everything <laughs> continuing to look good. And the crew echoing them right back down. Good comms with the crew. We've been able to bring some uh, live video shots from inside the capsule as they're headed to space. 
And there's another view of the crew. Stage one, entry burn start. Shannon. Copy, Shannon. Commander Peggy Woodson continuing to call out the abort modes. The first, day, the first stage sees high drag, which scrubs roughly 70% of the velocity by the time Dragon that that landed. Dragon speed six, trajectory nominal. Love to hear that call out. Everything nominal trajectory. Beautiful view of planet Earth coming to us from the second stage views on the right-hand side. Left-hand side, our first view of the Space Coast once again. This booster is attempting a landing at LZ-1. Stage one, transonic. That booster is now traveling near the speed of sound. Live view coming to you from one of our tracking cameras. We can see the grid fins actuating to help steer the booster down. Stage one. Coming up, coming up next will be second engine cutoff or SECO. And that's where after, after that engine cuts off, the second stage will coast for a few minutes until Dragon is commanded to separate. Stage two is in terminal guidance. Stage one, entry burn, startup. And there we heard that the startup burn for that stage one booster, you can see it there on the left-hand side of your screen, has now begun. Stage one, entry burn, shutdown. In conclusion of that entry burn, that burn helps to uh, slow the vehicle down as it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. We're expecting SECO to occur in about 20 seconds. SECO. All right, on time shutdown of that second engine. Beautiful view of planet Earth coming to us from the second stage views on the right-hand side. Left-hand side, our first view of the Space Coast once again. This booster is attempting a landing at LZ-1. Stage 1, transonic. That booster is now traveling near the speed of sound. We can see the grid fins actuating to help steer the booster down. Stage 1, landing burn. Stage two, FTS has saved. Live view coming to you from one of our tracking cameras. Standing by to... Stage one, landing leg deploy. There you stage can one, landing confirmed. You can see that first stage has landed back at LZ-1. This is the first time that we have performed a land landing on a crew mission. Also confirming that the launch escape system is now disarmed. Dragon SpaceX, nominal orbit insertion. All right, and there's that call out. We can confirm good orbital insertion. Copy, nominal insertion. Dragon SpaceX, launch escape system disarmed. We can see the crew playing with their harnesses now that they are in zero G, which I think we just got a view of our zero G stuffy. <laughs> Clearly the crew is having fun already. <clears throat> right after liftoff, I think we heard a laugh coming from Commander Peggy Whitson, which being a NASA legend and one of the most decorated astronauts of all time, uh, it's amazing to hear that even a space veteran as she still has fun at liftoff. Now we are standing by for Dragon Separation, which is expected to occur in the next few seconds. Dragon Separation, come wow. there you can see. <laughs> Live on your screen, that dragon trunk and capsule. That's a really cool view. That's actually SpaceX launch director. A very great flight. Uh, wish you safe travels. A few words from our chief engineer as well. We should see that nose cone deploy in about a minute. It's a great view on the right-hand side of your screen from the Falcon 9 second stage, looking at the Dragon Freedom capsule. 
While we're hopeful that one of these will work out, neither opportunity is guaranteed as they are dependent on both crew schedule and ground station coverage. But if we're able to support, we'll make an announcement on our social media channels no later than 15 minutes before the event start time. But in the meantime, be sure to keep tabs on the mission at axiomspace.com. And you can also keep track of Dragon's flight on spacex.com slash launches. And even if we aren't able to talk live with the crew, we will continue to provide updates on the mission across our social media channels. And starting at 7.30 a.m. Eastern, 4.30 a.m. Pacific on Monday, May 22nd, we will pick back up with our live joint coverage of the AX2 crew's approach and docking to station with NASA. Please keep an eye on Axiom and SpaceX social channels for updates, as there will be plenty of incredible moments to share with you over the next 10 days. And so from all of us at Axiom Space, thank you, SpaceX. Thank you, NASA. This is just the beginning. And thank you for tuning in. We hope to see you soon.